Welcome back to Control. Let's continue in the AWE DLC. Continue towards filing and processing. And just try to ignore that. It really gets worse when you stand here, huh? Well, there aren't lights flashing anymore. Wow. <laughs> God damn. I should have died fast. Maybe the shotgun would be better here. Oh, and remember, we have that thing that allows us to regen our energy while using the shield. so much destruction it's so fun thank you for your help friend sorry that you're gonna disappear soon oh that was sudden Clear out some mods. No, thanks. Oh, that is very suspicious. A painting of a hole in a wall, you don't say. Oh, yes. Finally, we got a real one. Hidden location. Hartman Arrest. Uh, victim's name, Alan Wake. Tor... T Sorry, I'm having trouble dis... Um. Ah, Tor Anderson. Odin Anderson. Rudolph Lane. Wendy DeSole. Thomas Emerson. A couple people were redacted. Officer's name, Dennis. Special Agent Remy. Mm, charges. Code 4. Kidnapping of altered individuals. Sanctions against altered organizations, obstruction of bureau investigation, and breaching of the Ash Act. Six counts. Additional notes: offender's property seized as evidence to be used in conjunction in conjunction with an ongoing AWE investigation. Offender's personal effects have been sent to research for analysis. After being cleared by bureau researchers, all victims have been released. Biannual surveillance orders were assigned to each, except the Anderson brothers due to their senility, uh, and Wake, possibly deceased. Oh, 
Whoa. Looks like the house has gotten a little wild in here. <laughs> well, the way Jesse said that. It's like the house has been having a party inside of itself. <laughs> I really over try to find things to break. Like, after the first couple ones, it should be pretty obvious if it's going to break or not. Foot gossip. Hello. My feet gossip at night, and now I have to wear shoes to bed. Sincerely, me. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I think we're going to have to take the service tunnel probably instead of that uh, shifted pathway. I don't know. There's some room up there. Yeah, not enough. Okay, that's new. This darkness is blocking the door. So now I have to deal with an interdimensional noise and sentient shadows. You need a powerful light source. Right, of course light would play a huge part of this. That was like, that was basically your weapon? Or, or at least a big part of your weapon? Um, I don't know how to call it. That's like half of the way you hurt enemies in Alan Wake is with light. They were like shadow entities. And I don't think it's so much that the light directly killed enemies. Rather, it, I think it more like weakened them and made it so you could then shoot them with something more traditional like a gun to be able to actually kill them, I think. I think super powerful light was able to just outright kill them, though. So cool looking. Maybe I should bring the light in here so I can see. Love the dynamic lighting. It's so good, so dramatic. I forget, are we immune to this stuff now? Because we took the vaccine from Underhill? Yeah, we are. there's much point to blowing those up, but I kind of want to anyway.
Yeah, that accomplishes nothing, but it's satisfying. just hiding in the corner, you know I'm supposed to take it. Doesn't really look like I need it just yet, though. Three hits. I'll make that my limit. If three hits doesn't do anything, it's nothing. <laughs> oh, this is the way that connects back to the abandoned offices. This is the way we can continue from the other side. Whoa, Jesus Christ. The world just went black when I shot. I think maybe this, maybe that painting fell down in front of my view or something. The third thing. This the resonance carves its way through the thing that had been Hartman, vibrating, remolding. The sound changes the darkness, and the darkness changes the sound. They both changed what remained of Hartman. They all turned into something else. A third thing. The sound made darker. The darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched. Stretched as anyone when seen from out of time, like a worm through time. Almost an Ouroboros. A spiral. A maelstrom. The gravity well of a black hole, twisting inward, tightening, taking you deeper and deeper to the bottom, the heart, and through to the other side. The third thing said, when you hear this, you will know you're a new you. He said, we build you till nothing remains. He said, under the conceptual reality behind this reality, you must want these ways to drag you away. He said, baby, 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 yeah, orange peel. The third thing was a monster. He'd tear apart any ordinary person crossing his path. Now he crashed out of darkness toward Faden. There was nothing ordinary about Faden. <laughs> there was nothing ordinary about Faden. That's a great pun. Darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched like a worm through time. The third thing was a monster. Two spots for batteries and no batteries. The Shadow. Paranatural entity A010, aka The Shadow, is an aggressive consisting of three known types. Type A. Localized manifestations of sentient, capable of occupying organic and inorganic material, as well as exerting 
over its surroundings. Type B, shaded individuals. Human bodies by the shadow. These individuals become notably more aggressive, but do seem to retain of their previous selves. Research is ongoing as to whether this condition is reversible. Type C, shaded objects. Similar to type B, except that inanimate objects are solely to be used as destructive tools. Each type seems to work towards a shared goal, possibly targeting certain individuals, which may imply a shared link to a intelligence. The threat this entity poses warrants immediate exploration of offensive and defensive measures. The investigation sector is being outfitted with additional lighting sources, some internally powered, to prepare for the eventuality of an... My understanding of the darkness is fragmented, incomplete. This abyss, this void, it very much does not wish to be understood. If light symbolizes knowledge, then it stands to reason that darkness would equate to ignorance. By its very nature, it abhors comprehension. Of course, my own nature drives me to comprehend all. We are opposing forces, destined to collide. And given this conflict of natures, we know that the light of truth will burn away the darkness, both figuratively and literally. Any significant light source can be used as protection, even weaponry, against this metaphysical gloom. And then there are the artists. I know for a fact that Tom, Wake, the Anderson brothers, and Lane all had some involvement with the darkness. The question is whether their uncanny ability to affect reality through their art beckons the darkness or did their work perhaps even create it. With Wake now secure in my lodge, I expect I shall grow closer to learning the answers to these questions. Assuming he cooperates, which is proving quite the challenge. Well, perseverance is the foundation of knowledge. Speaking of, I must be off on my rounds. What's that gonna do? <laughs> Need power first. Maybe that'll turn on all the lights? It's a rather dramatic light switch, though. Eagle... Uh, the Eagle Limited, Altered World Event 44. A train derailment resulting in 62 casualties and numerous injuries was suspected to have been the work of a paracriminal group known as... As a result of this event, the agents discovered that one of the cars had become altered with a persistent auditory event. It remains to be determined whether the AWE was spontaneous or the direct result of the sabotage. Event Response The Bureau had been tracking said group at the time and the intel gathered suggested an event of this caliber was imminent in Bloomington. As a result, a response team on site was able to respond to the train accident site within minutes of its occurrence. They arrived to find emergency processes underway but also equipment left behind by the suspected group. A suspicious onlooker managed to elude agents after they attempted to make contact. Further investigation of the accident site revealed a curiously undamaged train car that exhibited an altered state when entered. This individual car was secured and transported to the investigation sector for further studies. Aha, uh -huh. power. Oh, that's new, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ones that float in midair and also have guns and throw grenades. That is, that's new.
Reminder, all employees are required to report their hours at the end of each month. The Federal Bureau of Control maintains that time is not subjective, and hours passed on alternative planes cannot be claimed. Astral dives do not accumulate overtime compensation. Thank you for your attention. Ah, bureaucracy. NASA Cooperation Review, Interagency Cooperation Decision Regarding NASA Following the NASA slash FBC Coordination Agreement of 1972, the Bureau has provided NASA with numerous technological advancements based on our research, including the black rock lining now found in all spacefaring vessels. In return, all data gathered during space missions is made available for Bureau researchers to analyze. Recently, certain individuals have raised the concern that this relationship does not adequately benefit the Bureau, either intellectually or financially. A thorough examination of the costs accrued by both organiza organizations has shown that the expense of NASA's recent launch of the far outweighs any spending related to the processing and delivery of BlackRock. From its medium Earth orbit, the will provide the Bureau with an unparalleled resource for remotely monitoring and photographing AWE sites a resource that would be lost if the partnership ends. It's the opinion of this committee that maintaining a cooperative relationship with our colleagues at NASA is of vital importance. Black Market. A black market hub specializing in the trade of occult talismans, relics, and other assorted ceremonial objects, as well as genuine altered and paranatural materials, was raided in Czech Republic by a team of special investigators. Unsuccessful attempts by suspects to escape using altered items resulted in numerous casualties and prevented the Bureau from questioning all participants. The following interrogations revealed that not only is there a vast network of these retailers, but that they seem to be gathering information on altered items and other paranatural materials from sources unknown to the Bureau. The Bureau's concern here is threefold. A. There is a growing underground market for paranatural materials which implies a growing awareness of their existence among a niche group of the general public. B. These criminal individuals do not seem aware of the item's paranatural powers and their attempts to activate them could prove devastating if done in populated areas. C. The motivations of these collectors are largely unknown. I hear, ah, oh, the sweet voice. Lads in here have died standing up. Light them, them up. Shut. More plants. Yeah, shine light on the plants. I'd love to. Let's go make some new friends. <laughs> Stop the mold and get rid of darkness. Darkness everywhere. New day, same old bloody city, said the old lady. Like tar, but good for nothing. Get rid of it. You got it, Ahti. I 
I feel like every painting is a taunt. I guess unless it's a painting of a hole or something like that, I guess maybe I shouldn't bother. Like these, I really don't think would have anything behind them. inside the motel. Utilized surveillance methods are as follows. Fiber optic cameras slid under the individual room doors. Motion detectors in the lobby area. Trip wire triggering a flash camera across the main entrance. Even fingerprint powder on the front desk. Results are varying at best. Mostly just inconclusive and unusable. The footage is corrupted. Sometimes even the equipment is damaged. I don't know how. Exactly. I, uh, I think this place is making fun of me. That's the only explanation. I, I can hear them laughing and screaming behind the closed doors. I can hear the call bell go and ding multiple times a day, but when I look, there's no one there. I know I'm supposed to stay out of sight, but I've seen the doors closing just before I can catch even a glimpse of anyone or anything. They're messing with me, whoever they are. I think... Wait, shh. Something. I gotta get this. Gotta get the cable out. Come on, you fiber optic fuck. Cooperate. Okay, there we go. Alright, that was faint, but I definitely heard one coming from the hallway. I think I might have finally caught one. <laughs> The recording better work this time, or I swear to God, I'm... What? Hello? Who's there? Oh, shit. I'm with the FBC. Move away from the door. I have a... Where's my... Is it the end now? I don't want to walk away. Don't leave me hanging, but I think that's where we're going to be left hanging. Guess it is. <laughs> Interrogation complaint. Kirkland. So you put me on desk duty just because I did the thing I was fucking hired to do? My job? Want to know what I call that? Bullshit. Asking us to interrogate these scum without using words like altered items or AWEs or paracriminal is the stupidest thing I've heard in my life, and I've heard some fucking stupid things. They're already, they already know the facts. Hell, they know just as much as us, if not more. And they get to sit there laughing at us while we dance around our words, trying not to leak classified terminology. They already know the fucking terminology. If you think pulling me off the case will stop me, then think again. That piece of shit blew up those tracks. He killed those people. All to make a train turn altered. We have him dead to rights, and you need to let me back in that interrogation cell so I can get him to flip on his buddies. These people are terrorists and deserve to be treated as such. This won't stop unless we stop them. You can go ahead and put me on suspension. See if that slows me down. Agent Hewitt. He sounded way too hot-headed to put back in the interrogation room, Jesus. Ooh. Altered world event, I think. Where's the other half of the chair? I don't miss anything, but I think that might have been everything here. Oh, we didn't put the battery uh, or power source, but whatever it is, I forgot what it actually is. We didn't put it in the other one. Oh, I can't take it out of there anymore. Right. 
Well, I have to get another battery from up ahead then. What is this? Is this darkness? Some of the mold we need to clear out? Um, should I take a light in there? I don't know where the nearest spotlight is. Eh, let's just go for it. in this darkness is draining me. Oh, it's just standing in the darkness that does it. Stay in the light and you're fine. Okay. <laughs> now it uses our stamina, basically, so dashing also uses up the same thing that it uses up. Except when the Stamina goes all the way down, you probably take damage or die. So I think I should basically just get some batteries and come back here. Get some light in here. Oh no! Oh fuck me! Oh, an elevator! Time to go! Jesus Christ! That thing is so fucking creepy. Oh, we got a battery. I don't think there's any point in shooting it. Yeah. Why am I trying to shoot when I just said there's no point in shooting it? I need another battery. Oh. Yeah, I can't even hit it with those. Oh, we got a whole bunch of batteries here. Is it still here? Oh yeah. No! Oh. Sorry, fumbling over the controls. Another one up there. Got a spare battery for me by any chance? Alright, forget it. Let's go back and get a battery from the pile.
I guess I don't have to rush. If I just stay in the light, I'm fine. This is going to be we have to fight him later thing kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah. We just got him off our backs for now. Whew. What a tease of a very creepy boss. Stretched. They've been stretched. Yes, they have. Fuck. Hartman background. Dr. Emil Hartman is an academic psychotherapist that owned and operated a recovery center in Washington, focused on the treatment of artists struggling with creative blocks and other mental disorders. Publicly, Dr. Hartman's treatment center seemed unremarkable in its methods and purpose. Privately, however, Dr. Hartman was abusing his patients in order to utilize any latent abilities they may possess with the aim of shaping to his own benefit, which has earned him a Class II paracriminal designation. Note, for more on the link between artists and their ability to reality through artistic mediums, see file something. Investigation has proven that Dr. Hartman's illegal endeavors were conducted alone. After being approached by the Bureau during the investigation, he displayed no remorse or intention to cease his actions. Dr. Hartman was taken into custody, evaluated, and released months later, having been deemed a negligible threat. His medical license has been permanently revoked. I see that hole. Oh. Really thought I'd be able to go in there. Huh. Brian Hennerman, 21 years old, resident of Southern Texas. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I really don't understand why I'm here. You know what you did, Mr. Henry. I do? Tell me about Delivery Disaster. The movie? I don't... I mean, it wasn't very good. That's not what your review said, but we'll come back to that. Tell me where you got the movie from. Movie night. With a, you know, a K. Not an N. Not, not night, like nighttime, but... Who contacted you? Who told you to review that film? No one. I just did it because it looked obscure. I didn't even like the movie. I shouldn't have given such a high score, but reviewing obscure films makes you look smart. And I thought if I looked smart, I would get listeners. My podcast would take off and I could move out of my parents' basement and maybe even go to college and get a film degree like I've always wanted to. I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear. <sighs> okay, the kid doesn't know shit. I'm ending the session. <laughs> I see a walkway up there. Spring Screenplay, page one. Note, this screenplay was found after the Bureau acquired the Night Springs television series and all its past episode scripts. It appears to be written by Alan Wake as part of an application to become one of the show's writers. Night Springs Spec Script, episode Over the Threshold Darkly by Alan Wake. Host, voiceover. It is only human nature to wish to control the forces around us, and even more so to possess them. But what happens when those forces are not ours to claim, or even of this world? 
What if they are the things you can discover in Night Springs? Interior, secret lab, night. Or in a secret lab, the large sign on the wall reads the Federal Bureau of Night Springs. Scientist. I've told you several times, Director, it isn't ready. Director. It's ready when I say it's ready, Doctor. Scientist. But the being beyond the portal, we have no control over it. What happens next? I'm sure we'll get page two and three and so on. Totally don't remember. Did we already look down here? No. Arcade machines. Shoom. Shim. Shoom. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Find and interact with the arcade machine altered item. Hell yeah! There's another thing that popped up on the side of the screen, but I didn't read it actually. Rar. Shum do. Uh huh. That theme song is awesome. Crowd control or deadline? Crowd control. 